so I have free my toes are gone completely gone just I don't I don't have toes I got on two socks and no toes if you're new to the project a big warm welcome if you're a tough old root then welcome back as you can see the pallet tower room is taking shape the walls are coming up this is a very complex process, which has taken me a lot of time. As you will see, I have brought y'all along for as much as possible. We are filming and building almost every day as we can. Now, this is complex enough to where it's a two-parter, right? So sit back and enjoy part one of making walls out of pallets. I'm Josh, and this is our daughter, Ivy. I'm Celia, and this is our son, Hamish. Here on Steep in the Woods, we live completely off-grid on a 26-acre homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. So the first thing we need to do uh, uh, before starting our walls is put a sheet of plastic down on our floor. If you've not seen how we built this floor, click the link right here and check out that video. A big thank you to a Tough Old Root member, Niana, for sending us this plastic. Rock and roll, let's dig right in. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our walls. I did as much prep work as possible beforehand. This stack here has all of our pre-cut pallets. It's got all of our roof pitch pieces. It's got all of our staggered pieces. Um, instead of going with the I-beam design, which incorporates two by fours in between each pallet, we're actually just using pallets, which does make it more complex. But since this is gonna be a tower, it's gonna to be absolutely massive in the way of height. Um, I wanted to make it as strong as possible. So doing it this way will be stronger. These are solid oak pallets. Every bit of every pallet is oak, which means they are incredibly heavy. So instead of building the wall flat, which is the preferred method, and then lifting it up, which would just not be possible. Each one of these pallets are probably 50 pounds. So instead of doing that, we're gonna grab them one at a time and place them in just like a concrete wall. So first step, pull out what half half pallets we need and then find six of the absolute best whole pallets behind me and uh, obviously the closer to the floor your wall is the more weight that it's carrying as you go up it carries less weight so even though all of these pallets are defective in some way shape or form i am going to at least try to get six of the very best um, aim small miss small you've probably heard that uh, before it's a great analogy for all of life aim for perfection because you know you won't hit it, but maybe you won't be quite as far off as you would have otherwise. So either way, pick the best pallets and start the walls. So I got my Appalachian straight edge here, complete with arrows to show you which side to use. You know, hey, idiot proof. And I've chosen this one. Uh, this pallet to be one of our six good pallets, even though that none of them are good. Um, I'm lining this up. This middle one needs to be trimmed, almost an infinitesimal amount, but by God, we're gonna do it. Um, got my Japanese pull saw here. I love these. It's a freaking awesome. This was actually sent uh, from a tough old root man years ago. And uh, I've still got it. This is still one of the blades that he sent with it. So either way, you know, uh, the project lives on through the ages. You never know, man. Root. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down just a tiny amount. Uh, really just enough to say that I tried. <laughs> All right, let's give that a look. Rock and roll. So just like with any other wall, attach your bottom board to your pallets and also attach your pallets together. And this will be the first layer complete.
Yeah, these are incredibly heavy. Uh, you know, it's something that, that you might not pick up on, uh, but imagine, right, all of this is oak. So if you liquefied these pallets and poured them into a log-shaped bowl, you would, I mean, each, each pallet is an oak round like this. I mean, it's heavy. It's really heavy. But also, hopefully, really, really strong. Well, it frosted last night. I meant to bring in my tools, but I forgot. But uh, I think this section's pretty much ready. Just got to put a few more nails in it. It is, um, I will tell you, uh, uh, you know, not all pallets are made the same. These are solid oak, and that has presented a huge amount of difficulty uh, for me. Um, mainly in the way of driving in nails. I mean, the screws hold, but if they were to, with it being oak, if they were to get wet, it could break the uh, screws. I haven't had a whole lot of issue with screws breaking, but I'm assuming with a wood as hard as oak, it is a possibility. So we're, we're only putting a couple screws in it and then going ahead and doing all of our nails. Whereas usually I would do the whole thing with screws and then go back with nails. Kind of makes the thing quicker, you know? Um, and, you, and you still get the bonus of both fasteners. But either way, I mean, hey, oak, oh, pre-drilling uh, holes, these big old nails that I'm putting in the bottom, you know, the end of a piece of wood is the most likely place for it to for it to split. So I've really been working hard trying to keep these bottom these bottom nails, the real big, you know, they're big old nails long, from splitting the bottoms of these pallets. And so far it is working, but it's just making it take longer. So if you're going to build something out of pallets, I, I I don't know that I would encourage you to use oak. However, this is what we had, and I think for our particular structure being really, really tall, uh, the added strength of oak, because oak is incredibly strong. I mean, I took a little small piece, like a, like a one inch by a half inch piece, and I, I was able to stand on it. I tried to stand on a piece of rebar, roughly the same size, and that bent. So, oak is tough, man, very tough. This Queek, she my little familiar, right? Ain't that right, Queek? Yeah? Good? You good up there? She'll hang out here the whole day, but, you know, I don't want to, like, shake her off, so I've got to, got to put her down occasionally. You ready, Queek? You ready to get down? No, she ain't gonna get down. She ain't gonna get down. Where am I going? So we skipped nailing this very center pallet board right here. That's because this is going to be our door. The easiest and simplest way that I could figure to do this was just go ahead and build the thing out of pallets with no door, you know, necessarily framed in, but then just to go back and cut out the middle section of this middle pallet. So that is why there are no nails here. And that's what we are doing to make it easy or at least simple. Um, and that way we still have the building blocks. If we were to try to frame this in, there's a possibility when we go to put some pallets on top of this space where the door would be, that it would be kind of a pain, especially since these pallets are incredibly heavy. So easiest thing to do is just build a wall and cut the door out, provided you're doing this out of pallets.
So it's a couple days later here. Um, I had to figure out how I wanted to solve our latest issue with the pallet tower. The issue being that from front to back, this wall and that wall are slightly smaller than our floor is. So I created this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make these the entire length of, you know, the entire height of our pallet uh, tower here. And this is gonna be attached right here just to make the wall a couple inches bigger. Um, this is the kind of thing you're gonna have to be prepared to do if you're gonna work with pallets, unless you don't, you just don't give it about nothing. Um, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to work your way around uh, 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 the the imperfection of the the, the, the substance you're work you're, you're working with with pallets, right? So we're gonna attach this here. There's another one down uh, down uh, there. Uh, the only important thing is that none of the seams line up. So the the pallet on the wall that'll be screwed right here uh, is slightly shorter than this and obviously this one goes to the middle of this full length pallet so that is the only deal it's not a weight bearing thing uh, it's just it's just a way to kind of stretch the wall out very very slightly we are also taking not that i mean this is this is three pieces here three pieces of pallet wood uh, we're taking just the core of this just the regular pallet board and putting them in the middles of our pallets them uh, them myself so there are some screwed here I do not know that I will continue this up the entire length of the wall, but unless you attach it now, right now while the walls are down and you can get a nail in it from the bottom of your baseboard, um, then it's going to be incredibly difficult or impossible to do it uh, later. So either way, even if this short piece here just stays a short piece, um, I wanted to go ahead and attach it in. That'll give me the option to do other stuff later. So do everything you can while you can reach what you're working on. Uh, so either way, these are pretty much done. This is the last one that I need to uh, attach. And then we'll do a little bit of work on our other two walls. And, uh, and then it should be time to stand them up and actually start creating uh, something out of pallets. Um, I'm pre-drilling holes specifically on this because there's so many nails in a small a small area. Pre-drilling them will help it crack. It'll it will help it not crack. It'll make it make it stronger. Uh, all of the other nails are smaller, not only because of cost. I mean, I actually bought a big roll of of nail gun nails and cut them a apart because it was incredibly cheap. That's the whole point. I'm not building a pallet house because it's cool, guys. Like, it's got to be cheap if I'm going to get it. Um, but either way, I'm using those and pre-drilling those holes in this application with the actual pallets because these are oak and oak will crack very very easily especially when large portions of your structure are this big that big we don't want no cracks none so pre-drilling holes is, is is a great way to prevent cracks provided obviously use common sense pre-drill a smaller hole than your nail so you actually still get friction um, but also using smaller nails i'm having to use more but I'm more happy using the smaller nails. If I just had three large nails, not only would that be more likely to, uh, to uh, crack, but you wouldn't get a holding force across the entire surface area of your board. So either way, that's why we're pre-drilling holes and that's why we're using smallish nails. Uh, mostly costs, but also uh, as a prevention to cracking. Oak is very difficult to work with, but if we can do it correctly, which we are doing our best, it'll be incredibly strong. Now that we're happy with our walls, we're gonna trim off this two by six and cut a little notch right here. So the next wall can sit flush up to it. I will be leaving the rest of this two by six uncut um, just because it's easy. It'll serve as kind of a baseboard. Really one inch is not gonna affect anything at all. Uh, we also went with a two by six to help distribute the weight. So I am happy that it has a little bit of extra thickness here uh, uh, to distribute weight better on the floor. So let's trim this, cut our notch, and we'll start raising the walls. So this is a little bit of watered down exterior waterproof glue, wood glue, obviously. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the on where we sawed, where we cut this. 
to help protect it from cracking uh, since it's waterproof it'll also stop it from absor absorbing water but uh, I mean really with water and this is it takes five seconds uh, it lasts forever and it, it really is a lot of protection especially with so many nails so many fasteners right here towards the towards the end um, it's what I'm going to do I'm it may not be necessary but uh, I've been doing this with all of the oak pallets because they crack like crazy and I uh, figure hey if you're gonna do it on a thousand different different items why not do it on a thousand and one so there we go a little bit of glue and this wall is ready man it's ready to be stood up and assembled Well, something worked because they are standing up. So not only is the floor correct, but the walls are correct, at least at this juncture. Uh, you know, they could obviously go all kinds of side goggling later. But right now, the fact that they're standing up on a pallet floor, you know, this, this floor is not completely sheathed. There is no plywood on it. It is slats. So that means that a rim board is perfectly level with the pallet board. And seeing as how all these pallet boards are slightly different thickness, that is a heroic a achievement here. So either way, rock and roll, it's working. It's working well. All right, so if you can't tell, these are really heavy. Um, that's why I couldn't, you know, in a perfect world, I'd have done the whole wall and stood them up, but we would have needed a crane. Like literally, uh, I have people that can help me. I am relatively intelligent. We can come up with pulleys and ropes and all of these type of, type of deals, uh, but it just would not work. So either way, I'm gonna try to move this up, up on here. Um, and if it looks funny, it's because it's really heavy. So I'm also trying not to get little bits of rock in our base baseboard. I don't want that to, 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 to make the wall wiggle or tear up our plastic too much. Speaking of, we got a second roll of plastic. Big shout out to Small KY Homestead for sending us a second roll. That's awesome. I've already ripped this one all to pieces. Um, and in a place like this, when you're living in like this, uh, plastic comes in incredibly handy, whether it's sealing up windows, protecting you know, like covering stuff up, using it like tarps or in spring developments or whatever. So rock and roll. Thank you, Niana. Thank you, Small KY Homestead uh, for the awesome plastic and more. I mean, more, more than just that. fits so I think the idea is that I won't put on this front wall yet because I don't have a good way to access in and out in my mind I was gonna put up all four of these um, that doesn't leave me with the door and I really don't know that I, I, I want to lock myself into a box where I got to assemble all these pallets from the outside so either way I'm gonna try not to put the front wall on it however that may end up being something that we've got to do but either way they fit man what do you think girl it's starting to look like a house huh now these will fall. Do not touch the walls, okay? All right? They would shoot. That would crush that cat. And that's my favorite. I've had a lot of animals. That's that's my that's my one right there. That's my dern. That's my cat. And I have other cats. That one's just way better. All right. Dude, it's starting to look good. And actually it looks really beefy. Really beefy. I was concerned building it out of pallets that it would not look sturdy that it would not that I wouldn't be happy with it but this actually looks pretty beefy it's strong isn't it girl mm -hmm. 
It's kind of difficult for me to grasp that this is going to be three and a half pallets tall. This is one. There's going to be two more and a half and or, you know, this is this counts as one of the halves. So there'll be three on top of this. Kind of wish I hadn't called it a, pal a pallet tower, right? I've said that too much. I, I'm going to have to do it now. But it does seem a lot sturdier than I was pic picturing. Like this, this I'm way happier with this than I thought. I thought it would uh, it would appear really flimsy. But the impression of it, and it may be something you have to be here for. The you know, if you're standing here, you're like, wow, okay, yeah, no, that'll work. But since it's all oak, so all right, dudes, hey, it'll work. I think I think it's a work. All right, so now I'm going to shim up the walls, make sure they're all lined up perfect. We'll have put a couple, uh, uh, I guess, nails in it. Nail, I mean, I'm, we're going to screw it down, um, but I might do nails first just in case it rains. I don't, want the, I don't want the screws to pull out or even worse to pop, which really you don't have a lot of issues with. I've not had a lot of issues with screws breaking. These are oak. Like, it will win. The oak will win over the screw if there is enough uh, swelling force, expansion force, and in, 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 in the way of it, of it getting wet. So I'm thinking nails with a couple screws, just for now. So I went around and I tested uh, all of the different dimensions. You know, none of these dimensions are perfect, uh, but I want them reliably imperfect. So instead of a quarter inch or a, a, a half half inch on one particular side, let's split that and do a quarter inch on both. Now that we're happy with it, we just got to run a around and put some nails in that baseboard connecting the walls to the floor. So there you go. That's what I did for the foundation of our walls. Um, it's never going to be perfect. But if you've ever heard the, the, the saying or the expression, aim small, miss small, right? It's not going to be perfect, but if you do your best, you will be closer than you otherwise would. So it's not perfect, but I at least got it to a point where I was happy with it. Um, I am not crazy about oak. I think if I could do this over again, I would not use oak pallets, uh, but it will make it stronger. We're just having to pay for that strength up front in time and in energy. But stick around, turn on your notifications, check check uh, 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 YouTube on a regular basis so you can come along for the second part of this build. Always remember, if you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. If you have an interest in, in, in off-grid or in prepping, go to our website and check out our spring kits. And stay tuned for the next installment of Steep in the Woods.